Hi guys, so this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have approached into Angular routing has been finished. So we have we have entered into a new concept. So new topic that is nothing but forms in Angular or Angular forms. So let's try to understand about this Angular forms in version 18. So normally as you already know the overview of Angular forms I will try to explain you. So normally I will explain you this overview of Angular forms. Angular normally provides two main types of forms. So how you can handle these forms is two main types you can handle these forms. One is reactive forms and another one is the template driven forms. What is this reactive forms? These forms are controlled primarily through the component class. So that means everything the form is controlled through the component class means the TS file. So the logic file which you will be writing the code right. So in the TS file we will be controlling the forms. They are scalable, reusable and ideal for complex scenarios with mini form controls or logic driven re requirements. So if you want to implement complex form or something like that means so we the best approach is the reactive forms because they are scalable, reusable and also an ideal. And the next for type is the template driven form. So these forms are set up and managed directly within the HTML template. So in directly in the HTML template wherever you are using for the component. So these forms are set up and managed in the template. They work well for simpler forms where validation and state management are minimal. So in those scenarios the, you will be using the template driven forms. So, so these are the two different types of forms which we will be using in the angular. One is reactive forms and another one is the template driven forms. So I, I ideally I told you right. So temp, react forms and template driven forms process and manage the form data differently. Each approach has its own, own advantages. So one is reactive form. So I already told you. So which we have explained you. I will explain you clearly. So reactive forms about these reactive forms. It will provide the direct explicit access to the underlying form object model. So normally you, I told you right. So everything will be in the component class. You will be dealing it. So it will be having directly the control over the form object model. So you will be having a form object. And you will be having the explicit access over this one. Compared to the template driven forms, they are more robust. So these reactive forms are more robust. They are more scalable, reusable and testable also. If forms are a key part of your application. So if your application involves with the forms wins totally. So or you are already using reactive patterns for building your application means then we will be using these reactive forms. So then you will be asking us. So when is the good approach to use the template driven forms? So you maybe you will be having a doubt that one. So relying so these template driven forms normally rely on the directives in the template to create and manipulate the underlying object model. So normally the template driven forms I already told you that it will dip, it will rely more, more on the template. So in the comp in the HTML template you will be designing these forms template driven forms. So these rely on the directives in the template. So if you want to ma manipulate the object model whereas here you can, can directly explicit control the form object directly in the component class. They are useful for adding a simple form to an app such as an email list sign up form like that. They are straightforward to add to an app but they don't scale as well as reactive forms. So the so if you want to have a scalable and all those things means so they don't scale it. If you have very basic form requirements and logic that can be managed solely in the template means template driven forms could be a good fit. So that is one thing which I want to tell you about the main concept between the template driven forms and also a reactive reactive forms. So the next top, the next concept what I want to tell you is the scalability. So now you are have you know you are able to understand that there are two different types of forms. One is reactive forms and also in template driven forms. So what about the scalability of this one? If forms are a central part of your application, if your application mainly involves more, more forms means then scalability is very important. Being able to reuse the form models across component is crucial. So reactive forms are more scalable than the template driven forms. They provide direct access to the underlying form API. So that means uh, so normally in Angular you will be having a form API. Directly the reactive forms will give you a direct access to the form API. And use synchronous data flow between the view and the data model. So this is main important. So it will use it will follow the synchronous data flow between the view and the data model. Which makes creating large scale forms easier. Reactive forms requires less setup for testing and testing does not require deep understanding of the change detection to properly test from updates and validation. So that this is the main thing. 
and next one is the template driven forms focus on simple scenarios and are not as reusable they abstract away the underlying form api and use asynchronous data flow between the view and the data model the abstraction of the template driven forms also affects the testing tests are deeply reliant on manual change detection execution to run properly and require more setup so these are the three two different uh, approach scalability concept wise if you want to think means so this is the main thing so that means by in conclusion what i want to tell is tell is reactive forms are more scalable than the template driven forms why because these are more reusable so if you want to you reuse the component forms means you can use the reactive forms whereas the template driven forms are not as reusable as the reactive forms and also it has a direct access to the form api so that you can use the form api methods whichever you want but here you cannot have the, the, the abstract way of this one you will be having this form api so that is the main difference about the scalability so the next concept which i want to tell you is the setting of the reactive form so react is form model so you will be having a form model both reactive and template driven forms track the value changes between the form input so for example when you are having a form you are having an input box whenever the user wants he enters the data both reactive and template driven forms track the values whatever the input value changes it track the form input that user user interacts with and the form data in your component model the two approaches share underlying building blocks but differ in how you create and manage the common form control instances so do two of them the basic building blocks is one and the same only but how you create and manage the form control instances is different so the common form form foundation classes which you will be able to see it is the both reactive and template driven forms are built on the following base classes the first one is the form control okay the first one is the form control so this one is the base class which you will be using so this one tracks the value and the validation status of an individual form control so here the form control means each input so in the, in the input in the form you will be having the each one right so in that one it will tracks the value and the validation status of a single form element okay so single form element if you want to track that means you will be using the form control form group the next one is a form group manages multiple form controls as a group ideal for grouping the related controls so if you are having a set of uh, form elements and you want to make it as a group means then you will be using this form group so both in the template driven form and also in the reactive forms you will be using this one and the other one is a form array manages an array of form controls useful for dynamic list of inputs so if you are having a dynamic list of inputs means then we will be using this form array and the last one is a control value accessor creates a bridge between a form control and the dom element so if you want to have a dom if you want to have the access to the dom element and this one means it will control value accessor will be used so i will try to discuss about these all things one by one so these are the key building blocks in the form types so form control so for each input control or something like that so you will be using this form control form co group means so if you want to group all the form controls so means then we will be using this form group form array means when you when you are having the dynamic list of inputs means then we will be using this form array and if you want to have a bridge between the dom element and also the form control means then we will be using this can control value accessor so this is all about the brief introduction of this uh, what i want to say is the angular forms so in the next video we will try to see the step by step implementation of both the reactive form and also the template driven form how we can implement this one in our angular written so i will try to uh, explain you the step by step implementation of this one hope you understood about this a brief introduction of this angular forms if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you